Hello, my name is Giovanni Savatelli. I am working on my Arrow of Light achievement. I am in PAC 70 Den 8. My school is C.T. Douglas Elementary and my Den leader is Marco Bono. I'm Zachary Protus. I'm, I'm working for my Arrow of Light badge. Um, I'm in PAC 70 Den 8. I go to C.T. Douglas Elementary as well as Giovanni. And my Den leader is also Marco Bono. And we were, and we were both here from the food pantry with ingredients from it. So the first are the ingredients for the cake are butter, sugar, one egg, flour, baking soda, salt, milk, and vanilla. And so the first thing we're going to do is preheat an oven to 350. Now, first we're going to add the dry ingredients. Our first dry ingredient we are going to add is sugar. Then for the wet ingredients, we're going to have a cream butter. And now we mix them together with, you could do it with a hand blender or a kitchen egg. And don't go very high, it might go splat. But for our next ingredient, we are going to crack an egg. Now that we have broken the egg, we are going to pour it into our mixture. Now we are going to mix it. In a separate bowl, combine the um, dry ingredients. The dry ingredients, and start turning that over and mixing it as well. Next, we are going to and add. It's a half. It's one and a half cups of flour. Next, we are going to add two. Two and a half tablespoons of baking soda. Two and a half teaspoons of baking soda. Baking powder. Baking powder. One fourth teaspoon of salt. Half a cup of milk. No. Now we are going to add, now mix it up. Let's mix it up. And you do not do this with a hand. Mixer. Mixer. No, it would be bad. Now we are going to add the dry into the wet. Slowly. Slowly with a spoon. Low speed. Add the milk in. Now we're going to add some more of the mixture in. A little more. Now we are going to mix again. Add some more of the milk in. Now we are going to pour the vanilla extract in. And then we'll add the more of the mixture in. The remainder of the mixture. Okay, now we are going to mix again. Now we are going to pour the mixture into the pan. And when you pour it in, make sure it falls into the center. Now we have to spread the mixture throughout the pan. So the cake just got out of the oven and it baked for 30 minutes and we've just inverted it and can, it should have been resting for fi at least five minutes, maybe more. And we've just inverted it or flipped it over and put some confectionery sugar on top and it's a great cake for the holidays. So right now we'll be back here with more. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. We are going to be right back with more Cooking with Guts. Hi, my name
my name is Gus Kirk. Um, I'm working for my Arrow, Arrow of Light badge. I'm in Pack 70, Den 18. My school, I go to Merriam School, and my den leader is Karen McQuilkin. Um, my name is Alden Joyce. I am also working for my Arrow of Light badge. I am in Pack 70, Den 18. Uh, I go to McCarthy Town School, my, and my den leader is Karen McQuilkin. And we're making granola. Yeah. So our ingredients here, it's kind of wacky. Um, we have rolled oats, um, cut up nuts. I believe this is sea salt and, and cinnamon. cinnamon. And these are all the canola um, oil, maple syrup, honey, and vanilla. Yes, this is all. This was all mixed into it. So let's see. So, so um, first we combine, combine the oats, sunflower seeds, chopped nuts, salt, and cinnamon. We combine all those together. And in another bowl, we uh, whisk together the canola oil, maple syrup, and honey and vanilla, sorry. Then we stir the wet ingredients into the dry until all of the oats seem, you know, wet. <laughs> <laughs> it's the honey that makes it thick there. Nasty. Uh -oh. All right, let's mix it up. So, let me mix it up. All right. I think that's pretty good. How do you yeah. like it? Yes, yeah, that looks good. All right. So um, when you're finished mixing all of that, you pour half of it onto one baking sheet. Use a the spoon. There we go. Um, Spread this out evenly all along. Uh, also, so. cinnamon is the inner bark of cinnamon trees. That's a fancy fact. Yeah, so um, when you're done spreading it out all evenly along the pan, you uh, place your pans in the oven. Okay. All right, and we're back here. We have just taken it out of the oven, and it looks very tasty. Put it right into this bowl. So um, uh, to we're add a little bit of flavor. Put in about a cup of raisins and, and a cup of craisins. craisins. So just add those in. Craisins right. and, and then raisins. We've got to mix this up. Yeah, mix them in. So it like gets real nice. Yeah, and uh, oh, fun fact: honeybees, for the honey in this, never sleep, which is kind crazy. of amazing. And uh, uh, honeybees from a tick. Tip, typical hive, sorry, visit approximately 225,000 flowers every day. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> so you can put this stuff on like ice cream, like. Um, I um I suggest yogurt. Yeah, it's good for like parfaits and stuff. Um yeah, you can just use it, eat it as like you know kind of a cereal type thing. Just put some milk in it, and you know it's good breakfast. Or you can have it just plain, you know, and just have it's it good stuff. by tongue. Hi, I'm Aldi Joyce, and this is... My name is Giovanni. Welcome back. Today we are making peanut butter balls. This so we is have sugar. Powdered milk. Powdered, powdered milk, milk. Peanut butter. And honey. Honey. There is one, one third cup of powdered milk one half cup of peanut butter, and one half cup of honey. Now we will be mixing the ingredients. First, we will put the peanut butter in the bowl, and then we will dump the honey in. Scoop that in. So then we now we'll be mixing it. So peanut butter be kind of hard so it's kind of hard. hard to mix it in but you know just knead it for a while with your with spoons and you'll get good texture and then um, so now we your will put hands 
with your hands, you can make make peanut butter balls and roll them. Roll them until they're. Now, after you finished cooking, um, after you finished making all your peanut butter balls, you can dip them in chocolate, and that's called a buckeye. Or you could eat them plain with a banana. Or you could. They're also good with uh, granola and chopped nuts or coconut if you roll them in them. They makes it better. Or you know, you can just eat them plain. Now, right after the break, we'll be back with more cooking with scouts. Today we're making ants on a log, and our ingredients are celery, sun butter for people with peanut allergies, uh, peanut butter, craisins, and raisins. So now we're going to be spreading um, peanut butter onto these small stalks of celery. Mm -hmm. And quick little fun fact, celery stalks can reach up to a height of 3.3 feet, which is crazy. Celery is also known as a bunch of celery because it cons consists of 10 to 12 individual, individual pale green stalks. Hello, and we are back with these delicious celery sticks. Do you want to try one? Yeah. You may. Mmm, they're good. You should try one. Mm. Aren't you? All right, here are our final products today. We've made the hurry scurry cake, our precious granola, our peanut butter truffles, and our ants on a log. Yeah, thanks for watching. From time to time, Cub Scouts like us in other packs, pack 32 and one, will sometimes be coming around the, your neighborhoods, dropping off flyers on your doors. They're for the food pantry. And we want the food pantry to be successful, so if you could please donate some of that to them, we'd be very grateful. Thank you. Hopefully you'll see